And welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders. Alright, so last time we unlocked the final mission of the chapter. So once we can do that, we will be done. But I don't want to do that quite yet. Because we still have some hidden challenges we need to get done. Let's go do those right now. Also, I built this room over here. It's a teleportorium. Only one problem. I kind of forgot that, uh... These things don't work underwater. So I'm going to have to move those back above water later when I have to use them. But for now, they can stay. Anyways, I have everything I need. Let's go. Wait, no, I lied. I need one more thing before I go. I need this. Uh, not the sconce. That can stay. But yeah, I actually do need these potted, uh, this pot plant right here. Alright, so let's go. There is one thing we can do on this island. Before I have to start using the, uh, teleportal, teleportals. So the first challenge that I want to do is the puzzle rooms. Basically, there is one puzzle room for every single island. And by island, I mean every single region, including the three through the town portals. So, four in total. We just need to get the first three done, then do the final one to finish up one challenge. Let's go do that right now. So, the first puzzle room is, like, to the south of our base. It's a bit of a walk, but it shouldn't be too far. In fact, I think we can start seeing it pretty soon. Oh, I also need to make some more wyvern wings before I forget. Also, I should make sure I don't accidentally fall in the ocean. That would kind of hurt. Oh yeah, you can see it from here. See that little, like, structure with the torches in the distance? That's our first puzzle room. You don't have to do them in any, any order, except for the very last one. That one can only be done once the other three are done. Because it requires, uh, the prizes from the first three. Anyways, let's just get to this room. There it is. Yep, that's definitely what we're looking for. Here we go. Alright, what's the riddle? Also, yeah, these are all built by Dalamus, of course. Rooms before thee are twins, but these twins are not identical. So they're fraternal, then. Alright, so yeah, this is a pretty simple puzzle. Basically, we just need to make the two rooms match up. That also doesn't work, by the way. I've tried it. So it looks like all we need is a torch, a cook fire, a wash basin, oh, pie plant. This is also why I grabbed this, because why not? And then two pots. And there's a table right here that we can use to build. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is... Actually, the first thing I want to do is make a couple more Chimera Wings. Alright, so let me see. I need to make a torch... A cook fire... Uh, what else do I need? Two pots... I think I have the ingredients for the pots. Uh, where are the pots? There they are. So I need two of these. And then one wash basin. Or wash tub. Same thing. Oh, is that oh that's gonna go in storage. Let me just grab that real quick. Uh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, I had one in here. Never mind. Well, that was a bit of a waste, but oh well. So yeah, we just have to make sure these two rooms match up. I think that's... Oh wait, I think that's right. Yep, that's right. Then we just need pot here, one here, and then a torch in the corner. There we go. Puzzle solved. And as a reward, we get a white block, which is very important. Do not lose these blocks. We need these for the final puzzle. And then, uh... Ooh, well... That's a stone axe. Which would have been helpful early on, but at this point with my Iron Axe, it's kind of pointless. Yeah, also I should probably be doing these challenges earlier, but I kind of want to keep them on one video at the end. Just in case people need help on them. Alright, so that's everything for this island. Now we have to start heading through the tunnel portals. Which means, yeah, I need to get those out from underwater. I'll find something to do with this room eventually. Oh, whoops, a bunch of them just went in storage. Let me get those out. Actually, let me put away the stuff I don't need. I don't know why I'm keeping these bedrolls with me. I'm gonna keep the white block with me just in case. I don't want to accidentally lose it in storage somewhere. Uh, where's the last one? There it is. But yeah, let's just go through these in order. Well, actually, I'm gonna put them all down. Alright, so the first one I want to go through is the blue one. 
There are actually two challenges we can do in this area. One is the puzzle room, where we, which we have to find, and the other is another challenge. It's called Repair the Roof in the list, apparently, or something like that. Problem is, it doesn't. it's not actually very specific of what it wants you to do. But we can find the answer, like, above this mountain, I believe. We're looking for... Oh, there it is. We're looking for the White Mountain area. Because the building we're looking for is on the other side of it. So, time to do a bit of mountain climbing. Again. I just gotta be careful not to fall off. But I believe it should be- oh yeah, you can see it right here- or you can kind of see it from here. But yeah, that's the roof it's talking about. Here, I'm just gonna build my- that's actually a really nice, uh, I'm not sure what you would call that. House? It's a pretty big house. But yeah, in here, basically we have ourselves some... Um, Oh, okay. Oh, uh, he fell to the blight. I thought you meant he fell off the roof. So yeah, we basically just have to finish the roof for this guy. Also, we don't have to provide the roofs ourselves. That being said, it is a bit of a pain to repair this thing, though. Because it's really easy to fall off. But all we gotta do is fill in all the holes. Pretty simple. Uh, these are corner pieces. Well, it still works. It's just a bit, uh... It's kind of facing the wrong way, but... It's still good. This is another corner piece. Oops. There we go. Actually, I kind of wonder if this actually does work. Oh, that doesn't work. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'll fix that. Is this a... Actually, wait. What type of tiling would this be? Pitched? No, that's not it. Huh, guess this one's a flat one. No, that's also not it. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm causing more damage than I should be. You know what, I'll worry about that one later. These ones are definitely flats. There we go. Uh, where are the rest of the holes? Here's one. Oh, it's actually starting to get dark. I might... Mm, actually, I think I'll be okay. There's one there, and then this, and this. Well, job well done. Yeah, technically that's still a missing piece, but I don't think it counts as a missing piece. Anyways, if we did this right... No, apparently I didn't do it right. Whoops. Oh, there's the inner corner tiling. Completely missed that one. There we go. Roof is repaired. Not particularly well, but it's repaired. And we get a reward. And basically our reward is learn how to make roofs. Which might have helped early... Actually, no, I could still make a roof. Eh, honestly, it's not really worth it to make a roof with my town right now. I kind of like it open up to the elements as it is. But yeah... There's our second challenge. Also, they don't need this any- Actually, no, I probably shouldn't be doing this. I might accidentally fall through. Okay, you know what? Can I make shelter? I can't really make shelter in here, can, can I? However, there are some pretty nice items in here that I can loot. Actually, quite a few nice items I can loot. I might actually need all these. Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's actually just an empty chest. I'll take it. I'll take this too. Oh wait, I found a stove. Actually, yeah, with all these materials, I might be able to just level up my town off these. To get to a uh, level 5 for one challenge. I can't use these beds, can I? No, I can't. It has to be inside an actual room. Oh well. Anyways, I'm just going to grab everything I can before moving on for the uh, puzzle room. Which actually isn't too far away. It's like right around the corner. Alright, I think that's everything of value in here. Yeah, I think that's everything of value. Let's get going. Wait. Okay, yeah, maybe it's a good thing I didn't immediately go forward there. 
So let me see. The puzzle room I'm looking for should be like right over. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's head over there. Also, yep, still under attack. That's fine. Anyways, let's see if we can solve this one in the dark. Actually, it's not that dark, but yeah. I think I should have everything I need for this one already. I mean, that is true. That's not really evolution so much as just growth. But yeah, this is a pretty simple one. Uh, first thing I need is actually I need a sapling. There should be a tree, like, right around here. Oh yeah, there's a tree right there. I need to get myself a sapling. Actually, before I do this, I'm just gonna put away a few things. Oh wait, no, no, I wouldn't keep that one with me. Actually, do I already have a sapling in storage? Oh yeah, I do have a palm seedling. Awesome. So yeah, basically all we need to do is pretty much make it the growth of a tree. On the right, a fully grown one. The middle, a partially grown one. And on the left, a just planted one. And that's the puzzle. Also pretty simple. What do we get? A piece of gold, which would have been helpful earlier on. And then our blue block. Awesome. Let's head back home. Two more puzzle rooms to go. Here, before I go, though, I'm probably just going to sleep so I can do this in the morning. Alright, so the next puzzle room is through the red tunnel portal. Also, the last challenge is through the red tunnel portal. Well, not last optional challenge. There's also the speedrun one and to level up the base level 5 one, but this is the last one that I'm going to be doing. That is in the puzzle rooms. Also, I kind of need food. Uh, I can just grab some fruit in this area. But yeah, remember that one pond that looked like a slime from before? The one with the little cute eyes that are like bonfires? We need to head back over there and we need to do a bit of fishing. Because the last challenge is to basically find, I think it's the crown jewels or something. It's something like that. Either way, the way we find that is we need to go fishing in that pond. Also, yeah, while I'm here, I'm also going to grab some fruit. Just so I don't starve while I'm doing this. So, let me see. The pond should be, like, right... There it is. Also, I'm going to keep my falcon blade out for this one. Because this one's actually going to involve a bit of kind, uh, kind bat, combat. So all we gotta do is fish. What we're looking for is... Well, you'll see what we're looking for. It's gonna be pretty obvious once we find it. That's not it. This might take a while, actually. It's pretty random whether or not you get it. Oh, I think I found it. Nope, that's a metal slime. That works too, though. You know what, I don't care about the metal slime right now. Also, I don't think I'm standing on any... anything. But no, that's not what we're looking for. But yeah, if you need to grind up metal slimes, you can just get them here. Actually, a good way to grind metal slimes in this pond is... to, like, build, like, a wall around it so they can't get away. But if I really did want to uh, grind metal slimes, I would just build a wall around this pond so that they would be stuck here while I beat them up. Nope, that got away. How'd that get away? Alright, I'm just gonna keep trying for a little while. Hopefully I can get it soon. Nope, that is not what I'm looking for. One day I'll find it. No, getting a bunch of goo. Nope. I swear I can get it. Nope, that's not it. I'll get rid of you, though, because you're just going to be annoying. Oh, 
found it. So yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This took quite a while, actually. In fact, I even built my own little room over there because I had to go to sleep because it was nighttime. But yeah, we were looking for this king slime. I need to kill it. Oh, this is fine. Actually, yeah, this is fine. That wasn't too hard. But yeah, that took forever to find. But as a reward, we found the crown jewels. All right, so that's the second challenge done. Where is that thing? Yeah, pretty nice. Oh my god, yeah, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. I've been fishing for like 20 minutes straight. I had to sleep in here for like two days in a row. Actually, it was, yeah, it was two days in a row. I had to go get more fruit too. Anyways, now that we got the crown jewels, time to go do the last, uh, no, not last, second to last puzzle room. It's not too far away from here. Basically, remember where we got that book to unlock farming? Well, it's just past there above the mountain. So, got a bit of a walk to get there, but nothing too bad. I don't think I need any materials from this area either. I am kind of running low on dirt, but I have a ton in storage, so that's fine. Anyways, oh, I forgot to grab the bed from that room I made. Oh well, I don't really need another bed. But yeah, once we get this puzzle room done, all we need to do is head to the last teleportal, the red one, do the puzzle room over there, and then that's all the optional challenges done. Well, outside of uh, leveling up the base to level 5 and finishing within a certain amount of days, which at this point I'm pretty sure I'm way above what I need for that one. Like, I have honestly wasted a lot of days on this chapter. Mostly doing stuff with my town. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure I spent like three times the amount of time I should have on my town. But you know what, no. I'm glad I made the town the way I did. Completely underwater. Well, not completely underwater. You can't put the banner on, uh, underwater, unfortunately. Anyways, we're looking for the puzzle room. Do I see it from here? I think I'm going the right way. Actually, wait, am I going the... I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. Also, yeah, there are fake blocks around here. I'm just going to ignore them. Oh, yep, I'm definitely going the right way. We're looking for... Uh, you'll see it once we actually get past this ridge. There it is. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Let's go. We're gonna have to climb down a bit, so I should probably be super careful. I don't think this fall is big enough to kill me, but I don't want to risk it after walking all this way. But yeah, here's the puzzle for this area. Not really sure why it's in the middle of a giant poison swamp, but oh well. Yes, according to that, it's 9 o'clock. Or... 12.45. So yeah, this one's pretty easy. It's a little hard because of the phrasing, but all we have to- oh wait. I don't want to lose these blocks. All we have to do is get rid of these ones, and then move them right over here. So yeah, basically it wants us to turn into 3 o'clock. Pretty simple. It's a time between noon and dawn. Which I guess that's considered to be 6 a.m. Or not noon, uh, midnight and dawn. And we get an evil idol, which is actually pretty helpful for uh, something later on. I'm actually going to be using these evil idols, to be honest. But not right now. Alright, so that's all three blocks gotten. Well, yeah, that's all three blocks. Now time for the last puzzle. And obviously this one's through the red tunnel portal. Actually, uh, no, I don't really need food. I'll be fine. Alright, through the red. Alright, so this puzzle room is pretty simple to find. All we need to do is head south. That's all. Just head as far south as possible. Also, yeah, maybe I should have gone to bed before I done did this. It is starting to get a bit late. Then again, all we need to do is make sure we avoid the ghost and we'll be fine. In fact, I'm not even going to go around. I'm just going to go over the mountains. It 
There we go. So yeah, we just need to keep going south. Past where the uh, we found the world tree. Which is like right over there somewhere. Wait, did I go... Oh, I went through the wrong tunnel portal. Whoops. I need to go back. Well, I feel silly. I was supposed to go through the red one, did was not. No, not red one. I was supposed to go through the green one. I just went through the red one. I got my colors mixed up. Actually, that's probably a good thing. I should probably go to bed. So I don't have to try finding this thing in the... Mi Actually, it's not even that dark, but I just don't want to have to deal with ghosts firing fireballs at me all the time. Alright. Let's go. So yeah, let's go through the green one this time. I was kind of confused for a second there, but then I remembered. I was not supposed to be going through that one. I was supposed to be going through here. Also, you're a fake. Oh, hey! No, you weren't a fake. Could have sworn that was a fake slime block. Oh, well. So yeah, all we gotta do is just keep heading south. Past where we found the world tree. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up that uh, white mountain over there. That's fine. Ow. Also, for this one, yeah, we need to have, make sure we have all three card blocked with us. We can't uh, finish this puzzle without them. You can't actually... I don't think you can permanently... Oh, no, you might be able to... No, wait. What happens if you throw these blocks into the ocean? Do you just permanently lose them? I don't want to find out. Anyways, the room shouldn't be too far from here. That's not the room, by the way. That was for uh, the main storyline. Oh, there it is. Found it. Strangely enough, we approach from the back for the, uh, this one. I think they expect you to go around the mountain, but who has time for that? Anyways, last puzzle room. Yes, I already finished all your riddles. But yeah, basically, all we need to do is put them in order. I think it's white, blue, red. Yep, there we go. So yeah, that puzzle is literally just... See if you finish the other three puzzles. But with that, all three of the optional challenges are done. And a reward is we learn how to make a ring, which is actually really good against the boss. Promise, I don't know if I have the materials for that, though. Here, I'm gonna warp back home real quick and check. I don't think I have the materials to make this, but if I could, I would. Because, like I said, this is actually really helpful in this boss battle. Just because you have to face a lot of monsters that give you status effects. No, unfortunately I can't. Ah, oh, defuddle drops. Wait, defuddle drops? Oh, I guess I never unlocked those. Maybe I'll look up how to get those, but yeah. Mm, if I can get those, I'll make it. If not, oh well, it's not a big loss. Whoops. But there's one thing I want to do before I end the episode. That is, I want to see if I can get this uh, base up to level 5. I did get a bunch of really good furniture earlier. So let me see. I got a bunch of these. A really good table. A stove. What else did I get? Oh, I got uh, this fish dish. Which isn't food, it's a decoration only. Table. Alright, we'll put these down for now. Okay, let's go put all these down the bar area that I made. Also, I need to figure out what to do with that room over there. So let me see, stove. That can go in the corner. Oh wait, there's no room in the corner, is there? Nope, never mind, there's room in the corner. Got some more bottles, because what kind of bar doesn't have bottles? Ooh, a really nice table, but I don't have room for it. Maybe I'll put it in another room. Uh, some crockery is always good. People love a good fish dish. Oh, wait, there is no room for this one. Okay, fine, I'll put it in another room for now. This room. 
where I'm just gonna put a bunch of furniture down and hope that I get enough points. Oh well, this is actually a pretty big table. Fish dish, another table. Is that not, not enough yet? No, oh, almost. We just need a little bit more. What else do I have? Oh, I have a chair. Oh, and I have some dressers too. Oh, and I have a sink. Okay, never mind. I have plenty of stuff to uh, put down. Let's put the sink down in the water room. Well, one of the water rooms. There we go. Level 5. And with that, I think I'll end the episode here. So yeah, base is now level 5. The optional challenges are done, except for the speedrun one, but... Eh. So all that's left to do is now de is to defeat the boss. Thing is about the boss for this chapter. It's gonna take a bit of prep work. I'm gonna need to build a couple of very specific structures to deal with this thing. So, I think I'm gonna work on that in between episodes, and then next, cha or next episode, time to finish chapter 2. So, till then.